I'm Daryl Olivier. I'm uh, the president uh, of PROW, and I happen to have the privilege uh, of uh, working with Al for over four years. I think it's four, four oh, yeah. years. That's just kind of how he was. And you guys know, I mean, this, just the fact that you're here, I, I don't think I've seen so many people in this hall before. And, and we hold meetings here all the time. But just to see the amount of people here, uh, not just in Prow, but just you know, are the, are the, the, the clubs they've been involved in, he and Sharon, but uh, just knowing Al, uh, it just is amazing. And I say to myself, when I saw the cars out there, I said, oh, oh my goodness, are they giving away something? Um, yeah, and I hope we are. Is there any food by the way? <laughs> Good reason. <laughs> just want to make sure you're hiding it. Everybody's hiding the food till later. But this soon comes the sermon, you know? So here goes the sermon. Um, I also had the privilege of uh, being with Al in his very last days uh, here on earth. And, uh, and believe me, that was a privilege because one thing about Al that probably all of you know is that this guy, uh, even though he was a very outgoing man, he, he still kept a lot of things close to the chest. And one thing, one thing that he really wanted to keep close was the fact that he was hurting and that he was in need um, you know, of just you know, everything. Um, and, and despite all that, he, he still allowed me in. Uh, I actually knocked on the door, opened the door and came in. And that's how I got in. But once I got in, I refused to leave. And, uh, but that, he, you know, he uh, the amazing part, the last few days that we were together, uh, I asked him what he would like to do. He, he, he knew that he was dying. And what he wanted to do, uh, asked him what he wanted to do in the last you know, few, the time that he had. And he said, I, I think I want to write letters to my family. And that was just amazing. Uh, I said, okay, fine, I'll be your scribe. I'll do that. And what came out of that was something very beautiful and it's something that I think I want to carry with me even when it comes to my time, God willing, that I have the days uh, ahead of me to, to be able to foresee this or even not. Some of you might want to think about this too. He took each one of his kids and, and Sharon too and he wrote something very special just for them. The idea was it was something that they had done together. That's not me, is it? I don't think so. Uh, okay, good, good. Uh, I hate that. Uh, but something that each each person, uh, family member, something that they did together, very special, that only those two had experienced. And he did that. He had the time to do that. And we went through it and we, we kind of edited it and talked about some of the things. Some of them were very, very candid, very special. But that was the kind of guy he was. It wasn't something that he wanted for himself. He wanted to leave something for his family and something very personal. And it was, that was letting me, that's my blessing was that he let me into his life. I never knew some of these things. And, and a lot of us in our community here, we, we share, you know, we, we see each other, we know each other by face, maybe we know each other by name, but very few of us really get to know each other intimately. And, uh, and, and so he gave me that, he blessed me with that. And I was able to, to, uh, uh, to share those, 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 those things with his, with his family as well. That was really, really neat. The last thing I wanna mention, was that the second thing he wanted to do, and these are only two things he wanted, uh, was that he made both Sharon and I promise that this was not going to be a sad occasion. This thing today was not going to be that. It was going to be a celebration of his life, uh, hopefully an affirmation that he touched people's lives and that they would care to come and and share this event with his with his family um, but again it was something that he was thinking beyond himself and so i love the guy 
I miss him dearly. I miss him terribly. Um, but I'm so glad that he touched my life. 